Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Apache Spark series. In this video, I'll be talking about its architecture. So let's get started. So first of all, what is Apache Spark? At its core, Apache Spark is a distributed processing system. So although we can say Apache Spark is a big data processing framework, which can handle both batch as well as the stream processing. Apache Spark takes down the large uh, data sets, break them down into smaller manageable parts and then processes these parts across multiple computers at the same time. So it's a, I guess it's a same uh, like phenomena we use in Apache Hadoop as well where it takes the large amount of data first divide into smaller chunks and, uh, then, and then these smaller parts will be processed parallelly in multiple computers so that we can get the result in lesser time. It's the same principle we follow in the Apache Spark. So primary idea behind Spark is to carry out the computation in parallel so that we can get the result in lesser time. It's a Spark, it's a, Spark is a lifesaver because it allows you to process vast, vast amount of data extremely quickly because it also like keep the data in memory. Due to this in-memory computation, it help us in getting the result in no time. So now I'll be comparing all the important components of Apache Spark's architecture with some analogy. The analogy uh, I'm gonna use is, is around, it's related to the mu music, right? So in the music, I'm comparing driver program, which is my first important component with the conductor. Who's the conductor? This guy, this gentleman who's wearing this uh, white coat, white blazer, he's a conductor. So the driver program is like a conductor. It doesn't play any instrument of it of its own, but it directs the musicians to play the symphony. So like you can see in, in this case, he's not uh, carrying any equipment, any mu music uh, instrument, but he's the one who is actually guiding the musicians to play some kind of music or some kind of tone, right? So in the driver program doesn't itself uh, uh, process any data. Uh, for the most part, but it orders the workers to process the data in a synchronized fashion. The way conductor instruct the musicians to uh, sing, uh, to to, uh, to uh, play some kind of music in a synchronized way. The same way driver program also orders the workers to process data in a synchronized fashion, so just to maintain consistency. So what are, who are, what are the different responsibilities of a driver program? First, maintaining the application information. So what is application? It's nothing but the, we can say, uh, it's the program written by a user Okay, and uh, the user wants to carry out some task using Apache Spark. Second thing is responding to user input. So the this uh, driver program or the conductor is not static, right? Uh, they both are interactive. They are responding to user's input. Let's suppose you want to uh, convey to the conductor just to change the music tempo. So the conductor will uh, forward your request to the musicians to uh, slow down the speed maybe just to uh, like uh, play some different kind of uh, uh, tone, right? This is the one. It means we can, uh, this one, the, the, the driver program is responding to the user's input. Third is distributing and scheduling tasks. So driver program is responsible for distributing and scheduling tasks, which has been offered uh, for the Apache Spark. So next point is Spark context. The Spark context, again, I'm comparing with the, the baton. What is the baton? Baton is nothing but this stick, which has been, uh, you can see it's a, it, this stick is now is in the hands of the conductor. So this uh, baton has been compared with the Spark context. Although in a simpler words, the, the, spark, the Spark context is nothing but the entry point to the Apache Spark's functionality. So when the driver program initiates a Spark application, it's like a conductor raising the baton to signal the start of the performance. It means the conductor is going to the stage and it's raising the baton just to signal the start of the performance. The same way the Apache, the, the driver program initiates a Spark application like this is when the spark context come into play, establishing the connection to the orchestra. So, so in this case, orchestra has been referred to the spark cluster, which is another component of Apache Spark's architecture. So you can see like in this case, this is the one who is the conductor and the, the, the pattern or the stick in the hands of this conductor is the spark context and musicians are playing the, uh, the music as per the instructions of the, this uh, conductor. So what are the res different responsibilities of the Spark context? First is initiating the rehearsals. Like in the uh, any music performance, first before the day of that performance, we do some kind of rehearsal so that we'll do well on that day. The same way, it's the responsibilities of the Spark context is to uh, like uh, like allocate or to assign the different resources. The resources can be the uh, like CPU memory, right? It's the responsibility of the Spark context just to arrange those kind of resources. Second thing is directing the performance. 
so the way the uh, the uh, the this conductor is directing the performance of musicians using the baton the same way the 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 uh, the spark context uh, allocate or distribute the task to the workers next is cluster manager the cluster manager is the behind the scene person you can see like he is the one who's the who's who's the managing the stage out there right although the orchestra this one the uh, the conductor and the musicians are on the front end right so on the behind the scene or in the back end he is the one who is managing everything so i'm um, we are referring the 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 stage manager to the cluster manager the cluster manager can be likened to the can be compared to the stage manager in a concert who is who is uh, available behind the scenes so just as the stage manager the cluster manager in apache spark ensures the cluster has everything it needs whatever the like requirements it may be a memory some cpu some other kind of stuff so it's the responsibility of the stage manager to ensure everything is available uh, whatever is required uh, over there for the performance right so it's responsible for allocating all the resources which can be memory some kind of uh, disk usage maybe it can be cpu right and managing them to get the best performance so, so on summarizing let's let's compare or let's summarize the three things which we already have discussed first is driver program which is responsible for controlling the flow of application as i've already stated application is nothing but the written program uh, which has been submitted by uh, any user for to to carry out some specific task spark context is act like a mediator between the uh, driver program and the cluster manager and cluster manager is responsible for allocation of resources in apache spark so this is the like prime responsibilities of these three major components moving further another another important component of the spark architecture is workers and executors so we can compare workers with the uh, musicians and executor with their instruments so one can think of the workers as the musicians and executors as their instruments the musicians or we can also say the workers are vital for the performance because obviously uh, it is up to the workers or to the musicians to play some kind of music maybe the boss can only give instructions it's the responsibility of the employees to carry out that task so in the same way it's the responsibilities of the workers or musicians to to play some kind of music as per the instructions from the conductor or from the the one who is standing uh, in front of you the musicians or workers are, are vital for the performance but they can't produce music without their instruments so instruments means the executors who is the one who is going to play the sound right so what are the key uh, responsibilities of the executors first is to executing the task and to report the results right whatever is coming out so first of all what is task now here we are talking about the term task so what are task task are nothing but the musical notes of the symphony so task are the individual notes played by the musician or we can say it's the smallest little thing in the complete architecture so task are the smallest unit of work that gets sent to the executors so here we are comparing task to the musical notes which is coming out of their instruments so task we can compare like it's a smallest unit of work that gets sent to the executors so who are executors i've already have compared executors are nothing but the instruments okay of the musicians so here the uh, last point is like before we end up this architecture stuff we also have another important uh, uh, part of it the component of it is called spark session so there is a similar there is a little uh, relationship available between the spark context and spark session so spark session has been defined like a one stop entry point although i've already used this word for the spark context i say i've already have said in this like the spark context is nothing but the entry point to the apache spark functionality in the same way spark session is the one stop entry point to the apache spark functionality so what's the difference actually in the apache spark we got multiple context available like sql context streaming context spark context and hive context if we can aggregate all the four context together it it give the it give rise to the spark session so spark session is nothing but the gateway to all the functionality that spark offers the way in the case of if i talk about simple example of networking in this case in the networking example we have a router available router help us in connecting to the outside world it act, act, act like a gateway right it is helping my internal uh, network to connect to the outside internet right in the same way spark session is a, acting like a gateway which can help us connecting to the apache spark right so uh, next point is the logical and physical execution plans when you ask the spark to perform any operation it doesn't immediately rush into action it, it doesn't start immediately so what happened first instead it takes the step back and formulates a plan so what kind of plan we have a, we are having two type of plans available 
logical plan and physical plan so first of all logical plan come into play so what is logical plan at this stage the spark isn't concerned with how but rather than the what means spark isn't con uh, concerned about how the task will be done right but it is more focused on the what means what to be done right not how to be done this is what comes under the logical plan in the case of physical plan after determining what needs to be done spark then figure out how to be how to do it right so first requirement is what to do right and next requirement is how to do so the first point is logical plan followed by the physical plan so let's conclude this complete architecture so we can say the apache sparks orchestra of various components which are driver programs who is acting like a conductor spark context who is nothing but the wand or the stick in the in the hands of the uh, we can say in the hands of the conductor then we have a cluster manager the stage manager executors are the actual uh, like we can say instruments of the magicians right task are these the smallest or the smallest unit of work we can say right so all should be work in harmony they should be they all should be in sync right just like a well conducted symphony to ensure that big data computations are carried out efficiently and effectively the way uh, we we all want that if we are going to the concert right the magician should play the uh, music in synchronization the same way all the components of apache spark architecture should work in harmony should work in coordination should work in synchronization right i hope you must have understood the architecture with this simple analogy we have taken today for rest of the content i'll be covering in a next video thanks for watching guys see you next video